Hey everyone, my name is Amanda and I'm the Fun Size Reader and today I wanted to bring to you a video that was actually asked of me by one of you. I was asked or kind of had a commenting conversation with someone about books that had texting in them. And I love books that have texting. Like when I read a book and there's texting, like bantery conversations, I love it. I was trying to put together a list of other books that have that. Now, these are only the books that I went through that I could actually flip through from my physical shelves and see the texting because I don't always remember that they had texting in them or like other similar communication, right? So texting, email, something like that. There might be more of them that I have read on my Kindle. I'd have to like really go back and try to sift through them. So here are the physical books that I have to show you guys. And we're gonna start with the only one YA choice that I found. The first YA choice is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. And obviously <laughs> it's Twitter. So they are tweeting back and forth and they don't know that they're talking to the other person, which makes it super, super cute. I loved this book. I freaking loved this book. It was my favorite of the ones that I've read from Emma so far. And I think everybody should read this book. It is about uh, two high school rivals, and they're rivals because their families each have a different sort of like sandwich shop that have specialty sandwiches that seem to be very similar. And so they get into this like Twitter war trying to best the other person, but they don't realize that they're talking to their classmate. So sweet, so cute. I don't remember the spice rating on this one because I read it before I started doing spice ratings, but it is YA. So like, I believe it's clean, but don't quote me on that. And I will put the link that I have for the full review for Tweet Cute down in the description below. The next one is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This is one of my favorites of theirs. I freaking love this book. It is an enemies to lovers. It is, the plot starts with a girl and a guy who are best man and maid of honor for her sister and I think his best friend's wedding. And they hate each other, but everybody in the bridal party gets sick because of the buffet that they didn't eat at. So they are forced to use the all expenses paid, no refunds honeymoon that the couple was going to go on together in Hawaii. And there's texting. <laughs> That was a weird sound, but it's so cute. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Definitely check this one out. The next one is Love on the Brain. So this one not only has a little bit of texting, like texting phone call-ish things, but it also has online communication between two people who kind of met online that have similar interests also on Twitter. So. Yeah, love on the brain. I did just record my review video for this one, so I will link that one as well. Book lovers. So this was actually the video where the comment originated because I had talked about how this had like texting banter in it, which I loved. And the person commented on that as well and said, do you have any more? So book lovers was the one that spurred this video. It is Emily Henry's newest release as of 2022 and it is about the publishing industry and this woman who basically goes into this small town with her sister for a vacation and ends up running into Charlie Lastra the man who she kind of hates and thinks hates her who is grumpy and didn't want to edit the books that she as the literary agent asked him to that ended up making a ton of money book lovers check that one out Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. The first like 10 pages of this book is all just texting. Like it's all texting conversations. So it really just like starts you off with a bang, um, giving you that like texty flirtiness that leads into the rest of the book. I don't know if there's a ton in the rest of the book. I think there might be some but really in the beginning like it it gets you it gets you going so hook line and singer by tessa bailey this is the second book to the it happened one summer duology read it happened one summer first 
you'll you, like you get to know these characters in the first book too so definitely read it happen one summer first and then read hook line and sinker set on you this is a influencer romance so not only is there texting but there's also like instagram stalking and creeping on photos and liking photos and messaging and stuff so like there's all of the social media contact in this which is really really fun i do have a review video that i will link for this one too but this is about a uh, woman who is a social media influencer for fitness and she runs into this guy in the gym who steals her squat rack and so she vows to hate him and then she gets to know him and he's a hot firefighter so that looks like Chris Evans how could you not and my favorite Christina Lauren book my favorite half night stand if you couldn't tell there's texting in it it looks like there's texting in it there is there's tons of texting in it so there's even like pictures so they even <laughs> they have like pictures for people's contacts in it so it's really fun this is a friends to lovers secret romance there's a lot of other friends in the group texts but there's also i think individual texts as well so it's it's really enjoyable yeah, like there's whole pages there's just there's pages it is a friends to lovers romance it is basically about these people who were best friends for a long time and then they kind of hook up and then they're like, hey, I kind of might like you, so let's keep looking up, but let's keep it from our friends and hide it. I love this one. It's my favorite. It holds a near and dear place to my heart. So definitely if you haven't read this one, please, please, please read this. Uh, there's tons of texting in it, and I just love it, and I want more people to read this book. <laughs> All right, well, that's my kind of short, kind of not list of books with texting. I know there is another one. I don't have the physical copy anymore. It is by Olivia Dade. Spoiler alert. There's a lot of online conversation in that one. It is like email conversations between her and her friend that she met online who they talk about their fan fiction writing together. So I know there's a lot in that one as well. I just don't have it to show you, but I do have a review for it. So I will link that. If you know of any other books that have texting or some type of similar conversation style in them, drop them in the comments below so I can check them out and give you more recommendations. I will also attempt to look through my Goodreads of everything that I've read and see if I can remember if there are other books that I read in eBooks that had that type of stuff in them but no guarantees <laughs> thanks for coming by today and chatting about these types of books if you have any other recommendations or like things that you want to see certain tropes that you want to see like let me know i always try to come up with good video content ideas that you guys want to actually see so if there's something like texting in books that you want more recommendations for let me know and i'll do my best to find them don't forget, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at The Fun Size Reader. See you guys next time.